Okay, go ahead. Ready and action. I'm going to have a little bit of 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 a couple trees this afternoon. And it was mostly me and Kristen doing it, but then all of a sudden the kids started doing it. Isn't that nice? But we got two more trees to plant. One's a plum tree and the other one is a... What's the other one, honey? Nectarine? Nectarine, that's what it is. Are you guys planting this tree? Yeah! Catch, where are you going? Catch, you come back! Come back! Alright, now we're getting ready to plant the second tree right here. I just pickaxed the whole fresh hole and Bubby's cleaning the dirt out. And we're planting, uh, I don't even know where it is. Oh, it's sitting right over there. Planting a nectarine tree. And then we'll have a row of three trees on either side of the driveway. That's kind of cool. Kason, what are you doing over there? Are you holding a little tiny puppy? Is that a sweet little puppy? Yep. Oh. You guys like those puppies? Yep. This one had a, a little bit of a, I guess might be like a, a crooked root graph at the bottom. Where should I put this And so here? you see there how it oh, kind of goes up and to the right and then straight up. So I had, I put, I planted the root ball oh, at an it. angle to let the tree be straight up Daddy, and down so I, I, I hope that'll be alright I think it will I was thinking about kicking your butt your butt looks uh, like a target for my feet when I was bent over you were gonna kick my butt my you're terrible I can't believe you're gonna do that we just got finished with a shopping oh, yeah, trip at Walmart and uh, yeah, you see this green there were some trees that were a good price that we couldn't pass up pass up clearance price fruit trees yeah so uh yeah this is what it looks like inside a, a homestead and big family van <laughs> this is how we roll this is how we roll You're dirty. <laughs> okay, so we have a Mennonite friend helping us grade or till out our garden because the grass was just getting too high. There's no way we could get it done by hand in the amount of time to still plant stuff for this year. So he's here. I'm going to try and get a little footage of it, but they don't really do uh, cameras and videos and stuff. So I'm going to try and do it respectfully. I think they just don't want their faces on there, but that could be the Amish I'm thinking about. Super nice fellow. Loves to talk and give you any kind of information you want. Okay, it is a little after 5.30 and trying to sneak out of a tiny house without waking up children is a little bit difficult it's a beautiful morning it's mother's day so happy mother's day to all you mothers out there and to my mom's and to matt's mom happy mother's day uh, so yesterday i showed that we had a mennonite neighbor come and till our garden so this is what it looks like So no more huge holes, you know, pretty big rocks. So we're going to go through and just take out the big rocks and then get started putting the um, compost on it. I mean, that compost is not going to cover the entire thing, especially as thick as we would like it. So the rest, I think we're going to put hay on it. Um, I could not wait to get started, so I'm going to come out here while everybody's snoozing and get started. Happy Mother's Day to me!
Okay, I know we look a horrible mess. Well, we probably usually do. Today was a super hot day, well into the 90s. Um, we're trying to get this garden done as fast as possible. Get this dirt covered so it doesn't dry out any more than what it is. And before the grass can start growing back in. Um, but the middle of the day, it was just too hot. So we took off, went and got some uh, popsicles, went to the lake for a swim and cooled down. And now that the sun has finally dipped behind these trees, we have some shade. And Matt and I are out here. Of course, we're still sweating, but it's not too bad. So we're just trying to work as fast as we can and see how much we can get uh, covered. We're going to do use all of this. And then when we run out, we're going to use this hay over here. Anything, babe? Yeah. Pretty much it. Just nice working in the cool with a breeze. Yeah, Henny. Yeah. All right. Now, you know you got good soil when your cat wants to come lay with you and enjoy it. Isn't that right, Milo? That's our cat dog. He don't act quite like a cat and he don't look nothing like a dog. So we're calling it a night. As you can see behind me, we got a little bit less than half of it done covered in compost. But the important thing is that tomorrow we have to cover this with mulch as soon as possible. If we don't, the sun, this is a thin layer, one to two inches thick. The sun's gonna start killing the compost, killing the micro life in it, microorganisms and whatnot. So we gotta get that covered with mulch. And then ideally we would even water the compost in. So that's where we're at. We'll see where we get tomorrow. Okay, so it's been rain a lot and <laughs> But the only problem is super muddy and that's that's Kara's boot that Kevin is trying to get out. It is quicksand. Don't worry. This stuff will suck you up. Alright, you you guys are on your own, sorry. I'm getting out of here. Good job. Matt is outside trying to get the uh, garden fence done. Black he likes it to be real straight, which it does look good when he's done with it. So he's trying to correct what Cameron and I did a few weeks ago. Hey, Thankfully, it's a pretty cool day. It's only supposed to, yesterday it was 100. Today it's only supposed to be in the upper 80s, which usually is about 10 over whatever they say. Um, and we got this nice breeze blowing because it's supposed to rain later today and we both just looked at each other and said wow that feels like an ocean breeze it does it, feels it, like really, it really does there's like moistness to it all right the garden you can tell the area that's done it's got compost and the wood chippy mulch on it today is the day that we finish it i had a friend email me the other day do you got your watermelons planted yet and i'm like I don't have anything planted. I'm missing everything. That's all right. We started with a probably bigger area than we should have. I'm getting them in the ground. Maybe they'll make it to harvest. Maybe they won't. I don't know, but we're still going to try a few things. No, baseball's not going to I'm the Tiger Woods of gardening. All right, it might be a little windy, but we finally finished putting that compost pile in the garden. Ta-da! See what happens when you tarp? See, there's a tarp, there's a tarp. See what happens when you tarp a spot? Dead. Everything is dead. But that's okay, because we have a brilliant idea. Kristen's out there spreading some of the compost that we wheelbarrowed over there. And what we're gonna do is, I think we're going to tear this up a little bit, agitate the soil, and we're going to put some mulch on it and try to section this off and make this the herb garden. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But the garden is still coming along better late than never. We're not giving up. Each area of the garden has gotten a, a pretty thick layer of compost on top of it made out of rainmeal wood chips and 
then we put a layer of wood chips on top. Here's something really neat. Okay. See these wood chips here in this area? Like you'll see a big rectangle that's a different color. Okay. We did that section first. Then you go over and see those wood chips. This is from the same wood chip pile. And see that next rectangle is a little bit darker. We did those later on, like a couple weeks later. And then even further over, you'll see some even more darker right before her compost. What's been happening is our wood chip pile over here, it's, uh, it's decomposing already. When you dig inside the compost pile, you find these spots that are just really starting to compost. I said compost pile. When you dig inside this mulch pile to make a layer of cover in the garden, you find these spots in the pile that are really starting to break down and compost. So you see this? Look, I'm gonna dig in here. Okay, it's really damp in here, really damp. And it's starting to turn black. See here? This is already starting to compost on its own. And matter of fact, when we first got this pile and it was still cold outside and we were digging into it, steam was coming out of it. This is really good wood chips because it's got lots, lots of fines in it. Like it's not just chips and mulch. It's got lots of like wood powder and granules and stuff like that in it. Really fine, small pieces. And the other neat thing is, is that this is all hardwood wood chips. The guy got it from, went to a local mill, and this is all shavings from logs that they shave, and I don't know what they do with them, make some sort of dimensional lumber, but these are all, this is all shavings. So it's all different size pieces. See this, look how nice this looks. Little tiny pieces, big pieces, it's pieces that you can start soil with. So it, it, it's all just good luck and God's blessing and fortune because I just asked for wood chips, but we got really nice wood chips. Right, All right, honey? enough talking, start shoveling. <laughs> so our first row we planted was pumpkins and gourds, and now we're gonna plant melons in the next row. Um, we're putting the pumpkins and gourds and melons over here in these two rows, and we're gonna train the vines over into this large section that you don't see any rows in because we didn't have enough compost to finish the garden. So that area is just heavily mulched. So we're gonna train all those large items, their vines over to grow in that mulch area. Okay, so this is like the septic drain area. So it made like a hole there and I just put some tent stakes in there to hold that down, hopefully to keep any rabbits or anything out. I think I'd probably be devastated if mice or something came in here and ate the seeds so we'll see what happens i think i will be totally shocked if we actually get to eat something other than lettuce that would be amazing back in florida we did have lettuce and peppers so it would be really neat to get some melons or something that actually work or tomatoes and big daddy is getting ready to put up the gate um just real quick something interesting about all our fencing is from premier one but keep this in mind when you're ordering. We, we realized we needed another gate. We went to the website to order one. They were out of stock. So they had a little thing where you put in your email and it would let you know when they come available. Well, they did. Well, I went to go buy one. Now, every time I order from them, I've ordered multiple things and got free shipping. I went to buy one poultry net hot gate and it was going to be some shipping, a shipping charge. I'm like, oh no. Well, I got to looking and the shipping charge was going to be half of what the cost of the gate was. So Chris and I got to talking and I said, well, since these are always out of stock and we might do some other things with our fencing, why not just go ahead and buy two gates and get free shipping instead of paying for shipping, which is half the price of another gate. So we got two gates, even though we don't, we only need one right now, but you know, just food for thought. If you use premier one, um, just a little quick tip. All our seeds, everything that we're working on, eventually we're going to get some kind of, I don't know, um, note card box or something for these to go in. 
Matt says he wishes they all came in little zipper sealed bags or something and there is a brand that actually comes that way and maybe as much as we like Baker Creek maybe we'll just have to go with something with a better bag because we don't use all the seeds at one time and then I'm just making a quick little list of what we're planting and where and maybe we'll pick up some uh, paint sticks or something as little markers it's almost dark it's probably eight or a little after eight you think honey maybe even after that we're going to knock this out on a Sunday night, and then when Matt gets home tomorrow and after the sun goes down, we'll plan a few more things.